It's Wednesday, which means yet another midweek match here at Callaway Park. Tonight, it's Helston Athletic versus AFC St. Austell. And the big question is, are we going to see yet another action-packed thriller? Helston need the win after being held to a draw on Saturday at St Denis. St Austell come into the game after three straight wins and with no doubt confidence sky high. With that run of victories, I don't expect the Lily Whites to be making too many changes to their starting lineup. but what will Helston's manager Steve Massey do? Will he change things around and perhaps give the squad a bit of a shake-up? Well, we'll soon find out. That's Helston Athletic versus AFC St Austell, brought to you by Pier and Films. And Maris again with this in-swinging free kick this time at Fog Post. It's headed out by Buckham, but that's a great effort by the number 10, Matt Searle. Dan Harrison trying to get Tucker into the game that just bounces away from uh, Helston's number 11. Now we have George Maris on the ball. Nice ball through to uh, Bidgood on that left wing. And it crept into the far corner of the net. Ball through to Cam Bidgood, St Austell's top goal scorer. And thought he'd left it too late, but um, it just snuck in there to that far corner. And the St Austell crowd behind the goal congratulate Bidgood. Helston nil, St Austell won. Ben Thomas to Kyle Friendship and then back to Bidgood again. Knocked away by Dan Harrison for Helston, but uh, St Austell back in possession, although uh, they made a mess of that. But a great challenge by Kieran Barrett. Wyatt comes out off his line to get that ball, but it ran outside of his penalty area. Having to knock it away left footed as uh, By knocks it on. Buchan in possession, great ball through to Billy Tucker. Has a shot on goal, but uh, boys bending away as uh, St. Austell's experienced keeper, Jason Chapman, having a word with his defence, telling them what they should do next time. Already had run outside, Tucker inside, Goldsworthy made a run, which the St. Austell defence didn't. That was a good stop by the keeper, Chapman. That's a useful ball forward. It ends up at the feet of Billy Tucker, but he's outnumbered. Jason Rogers got in there to kick the ball away. Now it's St. Austell's turn to attack. End to end stuff here. It's a bit good on the ball. Comes inside, this time with his right foot. And he buys corner. Goal! Right across the six yard box. Tucker, who's well outside the penalty area, gets a shot in, but uh, dangerous corner by Matty By. Tins, Tinsley with the throw, of course, uh, former St. Austell player. Finds another one, Ollie Brokenshaw, who finds another one, Neil Slateford. Billy Tucker running at uh, St. Austell's defence, not able to get through them as uh, the Lily Whites break. Bidgood looks up, using Kilby on that far side. Kilby comes inside, but that ball just catching Tinsley. Bidgood, oh, he's trying to get Kilby in the action, but uh, again, an another pass that went astray. Barrett holding his, uh, his own against uh, Goldsworthy, but uh, Tucker, that ball to Mulready, great attack uh, or a great move forward by the uh, Helston number three, gets a second chance. And uh, Chapman at the near post. George Maris then with this free kick. This time a two man wall. It's towards that far post. Matt Searle sliding in there to Tinsley. Buchan who's uh, wandered out to that. Right side for the moment. Knocks it back to Brokenshaw. Slateford takes over. 
A strong challenger by George Morris. Oh, Chapman came out, but uh, perhaps made a mistake. And there we have the equaliser. That coming, Jason Chapman, experienced keeper of St Austell, hesitated, decided that it perhaps wasn't the thing to do to come out to meet that ball. Fell nicely to Billy Tucker, who banged it back towards goal and went under the keeper, keeper's body. And uh, the equaliser, Helston won, St Austell won. He uh, got a body to it, he finds Slateford. That's a great pass forward by Slateford, who finds Matty Buchan, but Buchan didn't quite get under it and Chapman was out. Looking sure. Now Billy Tucker. Oh, great ball to Mark Goldsworthy. Comes back and the effort is uh, well well saved by uh, Jason Chapman in the end. Buckers throw to Tucker back to Tinsley. Slateford looks up. Finds Brookshire that far post and uh, header back across the box, which Chapman goes down on. Tucker with a corner. Bucker will meet it. Maris doesn't clear it. Catra with a shot. Fellas, get that organised quicker! All the way through to Wyatt, who gets rid of it straight away, and Bucker's on the ball. Bucking comes or tries to come inside. He does, gets the effort. Oh, goal, but Chapman at the second attempt is behind it. So, George Barris with the kick. Oh, that was a good effort by Maris, which uh, well, Wyatt dived to the right. It did look as if for a moment he just touched it away. So, long throw. Will Tinsley to take it. to the edge of the six-yard box. Comes out nicely to Catron, but Catron claims the corner, gets it. Short one, Tucker to Tinsley. This time across by Tinsley. Chapman has to scoop that ball away. Still in the danger area, but uh, eventually rolls out for a goal kick. French it out to bid good. Comes inside at Tinsley, finds uh, Kilby. Kilby with the effort, just wide. Wide with a long goal kick. Ben Thomas, defending well for St Austin. Bit good. Slots it along the ground to Matt Searle. Matt Searle takes on the back line of Helston and uh, another effort wide for St Austin. Powell trying to get Bishop into the game and. Uh, Rogers inside the Bishop, but he's behind the number seven, so Elston can break again. Slateford getting the ball to Billy Tucker. That finds Goldsworthy, and what a save by Chapman. First of all, great ball in by Billy Tucker. Goldsworthy made the run into the six yard box. Looked as if it was all the way a goal, but Chapman dived and pounded away for a Helston corner. Oh, Tucker will look to have a shot here, surely. No, he slides it through to Goldsworthy. Good save there by Chapman once again. Cross is deep, headed away by Barrett. 